Hello, my name is Jerome Brooks Jr. I'm 5'11". I live in New York. This is for Tom Robinson to Kill a Mockingbird, Broadway. Mr. Finch, I was going home as usual that evening and when I passed to your place, Miss May, I on the porch like she said she would. Seem real quiet like and I was thinking, oh, why I just passed it when she say for me to come there and help her a minute. Well, I went inside the fence and look. She says, no, I got something for you to do in the house. Load those off his hinges and, and fall's coming pretty fast. And well, I went up the steps and she motioned for me to come inside. And I went in the front room and looked at the door. I said, Miss Mayella, the door looks all right. I pulled it back and forth and those hinges was all right. Well, then she shut the door. Me still inside, Mr. Finch. I was wondering why it was so quiet. Like, and it come to me that there wasn't no child in the place. I said, Miss Mayella, we're chilling. And, and I said, where the chilling? And she says, <laughs> she was laughing, sort of. She said, they all going to town to get ice cream. And she says, took me a slap year to save them nickels, but I done it. They all going to town. And I say something like, why, well, Miss Mayella, that's right smart of you to treat them. She says, you think so? I mean, it was smart of her to save like that and nice of her to treat him, but she maybe thought I meant something else. Well, I said, I, I best be going now because I couldn't do nothing for her. And she says, oh, yes, I could. And I say, what? And she says, just step on that chair, y'all, and get that box down from top of the high shelf. I, I stepped up on the chair and was just reaching when the next thing I know, she, she grabbed me around the legs. Grab me down around the legs, Mr. Finch. She scared me so bad, I hopped down and turned the chair over. And that was only the only furniture disturbed in the room now, Mr. Finch, when I left. Now, because I... Mr. Finch, I got down off of that chair and turned around. She sort of jumped on me. She hugged me. She hugged me around the waist. She reached up and kissed me side to face. She says... She's never kissed a grown man before. She might as well kiss a nigga. Yes, sir. She says, well, her pa do. Don't count. She says, kiss me back, nigga. I say, Miss Mayella, let me out of here. And I tried to run, but she got her back to the door. I had to push her. I didn't want to, oh, I'm a Mr. Finch. I said, let me pass. But just when I say that, Mr. Yule hollered through the window. He can say something not fitting for these folks and chilling in here. He says, you goddamn whore, I'll kill you. So I did myself, Mr. Finch. I tried. I tried without being ugly to her. I didn't want to be ugly. I didn't want to push her or nothing. He might have said something to me, but I was running. I was scared, sir. Mr. Finch. If you was a nigga like me, you'd be scared too.